We love y'all. I've got notes for people afterwards. So. Is it on? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're going to get started because I believe it's time to do that. And I want to start out with um, some prayer covering for us. And so, this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to visit us here, to teach us, to invade our inward parts with truth and freedom, and that our ears will be open to hear what the Holy Spirit says, and our minds will be cleared so we can focus and absorb what it is that He has for us tonight. That there'll be no confusion, no interruption, no hindrances and no blocks for anybody to receive from the Lord what they need to get tonight. And I take authority now over any lying spirit that would bother any of us, can't operate in us, through us, or against us. And the only spirit that's allowed to move here is the Holy Spirit. And he is the Holy Spirit that was left to us by our Savior Jesus, who was sent by our Father. And so we win at all junctures when we're learning more about them and ourselves. So I apply the warm, living, flowing blood to everything that we say and do. And I thank the Lord for um, his protection on all of us and all that we're concerned with, he's concerned with. And anything that contends with us, he'll contend with it. So tonight we're free to hear from him. Amen? Okay, well, I, I thought I chose to teach on the four doors tonight because we did Father Ladder last time. And, um, but I want to quickly go through just a real little review of what we've already done because there's a couple of new people or some, some of you haven't been here every week. And I'm going to give you these notes after the class is over so that you can kind of catch up. And um, there's a recommended book or two at the, at the end. And for you that have not been in any of the classes, you might want to look into those books and read up a little bit before you come to the next class. And that'll catch you up. So <clears throat> what we've done so far is we've talked about the, um, what Sozo's means and the, a little introduction to what Sozo's ministry is. And as I said before, Sozo's is nothing new under the sun. When Jesus came, he was sozoing everywhere he went because all sozos means it's a Greek word that has been translated um, into our language, which means healed, means saved, it means delivered, and it means made whole. So in every scripture in our, in our Bibles where we see those four words, the actual Greek word that mean those words is sozos. So... Uh, so those has been around much longer than we have, and it's not new. It's just um, what Jesus did in accordance with what his father was telling him to do. The finished work, what he did on the cross for us was summed up in that one word because, like I said, it means saved, healed, delivered, and made whole. Many scriptures contain that translation of the, of the word sozos. And the purpose of a sozos ministry team for those that are interested in becoming a part of an organized team, either in their in your church or just as a regional part of this team, which will contain members from several different churches, um, then classes will apply and those people need to have personal SOSO sessions and kind of fall into the rank and order of becoming a SOSO's minister and part of a team. And you can sign up for a personal SOZO session um, on those forms that are coming around if you haven't already. And you can indicate if you just want to learn about SOZOs or if you want to pray for people who are having SOZOs or if you want a SOZO session of your own and you're not obligated to anything. Class is open for anyone. Why do we call it Sozo's Ministry? Because in order to unite the body into action against our adversary, who is known as the father of lies, who contradicts the truth, 
in the word. Um, we need to have a way to help each other walk out our true identity and purpose so that we don't fall short of receiving all the eternal rewards that God has planned for us. So if we use a shared verbiage, we can work with the Holy Spirit and each other to get more done in less time with less trouble. We become a united army against the tactics of the enemy through Sozo's training, Sozo's application to ourselves first, and then learning how to tell others about getting healed through Sozo's because we have been. Then we really get more comfortable in our own skin and realize that we really are made in our Father's likeness. And that's a good thing. The basis of all Sozo's ministry is the wounds are found by the Holy Spirit's lead because oftentimes we're wounded and we don't even know that that wound has been there because we've numbed it out and it could have happened when we were very young or in our childhood or teen years. So once that, lot, that wound is found, we'll oftentimes find that there's been a lie that came into that wounded area. A lie about God, a lie about ourselves, and possibly <laughs> lies about others. And that's what we tend to call in, in Sozo's <laughs> ministry, colored lenses. And it, colored lenses, all that means is we're viewing our world through a tainted picture that that wound and that lie is painted. So if the wound is found and healed and the lie is exposed by the Holy Spirit, then um, we get free. We get free and we get healed. And, we, and what that means is we, be, we have more intimacy with God. We feel closer to God. And then we're more able to be comfortable in our own skins and relax, um, which helps us to relate better to everyone else. <clears throat> Forgiveness is necessary at all times, and it's foundational to any healing, deliverance, or salvation, or redemption, or rest restoration in our lives. Without forgiveness, none of that is completed in each instance. And so I just want to say that uh, forgiveness is not a sozo's tool, it's a command. And everybody is required <laughs> to forgive because if, they, if we can't forgive, then the word tells us that we can't be forgiven. And that's a bad thing. So, so far, for those of you that have missed a class or two or are just now coming, previous to this class, we examined the history of Sozo's forgiveness. We examined captives versus prisoners, which is just a difference between are we responding to something we were predisposed to by, by our ancestors' sins, or is it something that we opened the door to and did out of our own rebellion or ignorance? And um, colored lenses, I just explained. It's a skewed view based on our past wounds. And we, we talked about culture of honor, which is um, what we're trying to do here is build a relational team of people who will earnestly respect themselves and everyone else. And then we looked at the tool Father Ladder, which taught us about the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and how the, those three persons in the Godhead relate to our earthly family, our earthly father, our earthly um, brothers and sisters and friends, and our earthly mother. Their, was, their responsibilities, are, all three of their responsibilities, we talked about those, and, and they're all different. So tonight, what we're going to talk about is the tool called the four doors.